Hello everybody, let's take a look at my new shell collection. It's right behind me in these two cabinets here. Let's take a closer look. Alrighty guys, this is the entire leftover collection right here in these two cabinets with a lot of shells in little uh, glass capsules up there as well. You still have the little top finds ever section down there and then down here on these two floors are the new top finds table. So let's take a look at it and see what we can uh, check out. We are going to start off over here. Here we have some more uh, coral pieces. Uh, a lot of gifts do consist of this collection here because I was never ever going to sell any gifts that I had received from anyone of course. So that helmet shell back there was a gift. Uh, this tongue shell here was a gift from my cousin. This coral piece I really liked so I kept it. I kept a lot of stuff that I like from the Massive Collection. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, you can find my old collection somewhere in the channel. I'll actually link it in the description so you can see the entire room full of seashells that I used to have. So you can uh, compare it and check it out now. But uh, just this top level here is just a bunch of uh, random sort of stuff. Bunch of cool stuff. Coral. You got the rare blue coral here. Very cool, couple of murex, and a bunch of other whelk gifts. Down here we have a bunch of Florida shells that I was gifted. So shout out to you guys. We have a baler. This was actually the first shell I ever purchased, a big baler from Noosa. <clears throat> so that's why I kept that one, because it was the first shell I purchased. We have a giant sand dollar down there that was gifted. And we have a bunch of these Japanese scallops that I was also gifted. And these were actually found about 120 feet below uh, <clears throat> in the ocean in Japan. So they are very, very cool. I'll always keep those, absolutely. This here is a giant gem baler. I did purchase this one. And I just, I love the perfect baler shells. They're really hard to come by. So I decided to keep that as well. All along the front here, you have all of the lightning whelks, uh, king crown conches, I believe, a couple of murex there, and mostly gifts from my friends in Florida. So shout out to you guys. We got a little bunch of cool stuff there. As you move down here, we have my textile cone shell finds. Very cool. I like to keep those separate from the top finds because I love the textile cones. <clears throat> Then we have a giant helmet shell. This was actually my second largest helmet shell that I had in the massive collection. So I wanted to keep a hold of one giant helmet shell at least. Very cool. We have some more Florida shells right there. Pretty cool. And then we have this. I found this a couple of episodes ago and it is a moon snail inside of a moon snail. That is very cool. Very interesting. As you move down here onto the next shelf, you have another big helmet. Not as big as that one there, but it is still a really good size. <clears throat> and then this uh, giant, magnificent volute, I was, it was gifted to me by my friend Jack, and I actually cleaned it up in an episode of uh, cleaning up a shell. This one was super, super jagged and super um, calcified, and it has turned out Incredibly, if you want to check out that episode on how I cleaned up that shell, check it out in the links below in the description. Here we have some shells that were found in the Philippines, again, that were gifted to me. <coughs> so shout out to you. Thank you very much. I won't name the people in the video because I'm not sure if they want to be named. So they'll know who they are. Here we have my giant baler shell. As you guys know, I love the baler shells. And this one took me a long time to find. I cleaned it up, I shaved it up. It is very massive, very cool. Had to keep that. This one was also very unique, so I kept that as well. Here we have some more Florida shells and some uh, Philippine shells. <coughs> very cool. Now, if you guys remember in the uh, giant collection that I had, everything was categorized. So you'd have the helmets on this shelf, Bailers on this shelf and such, but I've kind of gone with a different way this time and I've sort of just placed everything anywhere I like, which is really nice. I really like how it's come out. 
Alrighty, let's move to this shelf and we'll take a look at the top first. So as you look at the top here, there is a lot going on. Uh, at the back there, we have a ton of jars. So there are a lot of glass jars filled with stuff like the red coral that I was talking about a bunch of episodes ago. Uh, I found all of that red coral in micro shell episodes. So that is basically filled up. We've got an Arabian jar, a sea sponge jar, another Arabian jar a uh, moon snail and seraph cone and turbo shell jar all those from harvey bay i found all those of course then we have some more actually this was from our first trip to harvey bay back on imogen and i's uh imogen and i's anniversary last year so that was a lot of fun got another jar i think i already said that this was all of the first finds from yapoon our first ever yapoon trip Pretty cool, a lot of variety there. Piece of sea glass, one of my best ever. I don't find it too often, but when it's conditioned that good, it's awesome, you have to keep it. Another Arabian jar, right next to a hairy triton that's been cleaned up. Of course, love the hairy tritons. Then you got a pectin jar, all those were found in Harvey Bay as well. And a shark egg casing. This is also gifted to me, so shout out to you if you're watching this many many years ago a long time ago then we have a bonnet shell jar i love the bonnet shells we find a lot of them so i had to keep them in a jar and then just above those we have my uh photo from australia zoo from robert very cool then we have another turtle photo this one was from justin braun i believe his name is he takes photos all over queensland of all the sea life and that sort of thing around the islands Got a shell book up there and some of the shells from our most recent Yapoon trip. Got a bunch of Murex in there. A bunch of sundials. What do we have? So down here we have this shell and this Triton shell here was found by my parents in uh, Numia, in the islands of Numia while they were on a cruise ship. So that's very cool. They found those years and years ago, a very long time ago. Here we have my collection of bean cowries. Found all those, of course. And just below it, we have my collection of uh, clandestines and donkeys. There's actually a couple of grape cowries in there as well, but that is very cool. We have a magnificent volute that I was gifted by my friend Tanya. She goes to the beach with me sometimes. She's in a couple of episodes. And as we move further down the line, we have some of my best little coral finds uh, from the beach. I don't find coral very much at all, especially when it's so white like that, when it's been sun bleached. So that's very cool. We've got a couple of nice pieces there. Got some nice red pieces as well there, and just some miscellaneous sort of things like that. Broken helmet shell giant, broken wentle trap, broken grape cowrie, and some more Florida shells, including this giant cockle here, the angel wing, uh, some DNA coral of mine that I found. This one was also found in Florida, gifted to me, of course. Got a bunch more here. And my giant Baylor shell piece find from a bunch of episodes ago. Biggest piece I've ever found. Got some more Florida shells here at the front. That's a volute I decided to keep because I love the textile patterns. And this buoy was from our trip from Fraser Island. We drove all along Fraser Island, we filmed it all, and I found that on the trip beached. So let's, uh, oh no, here we go, got some more. This is a Melanophora that I really like because the uh, spikes are actually pointed in and I thought it was really cool. So I kept it. So here is all of our broken Murex pieces that I've found in Harvey Bay, of course. So let's grab some out. They're all just really battered, broken pieces. So that's completely filled. That's pretty cool. And then my micro shell collection right next to it. We have a tortoise carry up top. Awesome. And some Florida shell finds, some uh, old textile cones, some Philippines finds, some UK finds. I didn't have the room to place all of those separately. So they're up the top there. Very cool. Alrighty, let's move down the line and see what we can see. Alrighty, as you move down the line here, we have 
another random shelf here filled with cool stuff we have some sea urchin shells that i was actually gifted from facebook i won a little giveaway and they're all found in south australia i believe so they're really cool i've kept them for a very long time got a giant pin cushion sand dollar this was also gifted to me from florida i love this it is so cool uh, we've got a flat sand dollar there, I believe I purchased that, and that one was also gifted from me for me. Here is a giant tiger carry, giant white tiger carry, of course. Giant whelk shell that was also gifted to me. Awesome. What do we have back there? We have a uh, goliath, no, milk conch, that's it, that was a gift as well. That uh, hammerhead oyster was also a gift we've got a giant nautilus back there <clears throat> let's open up this door here and we have a bunch more stuff so let's see what we got we got a spondylus americanus i believe right there that was a gift as well uh we got a simatium radari i believe is what it's called there that was a gift too got a giant uh what is it? Abalone shell. Very cool. I actually purchased that from Yapoon as well. Bunch of Murex. Bunch of cool stuff. Mainly all gifted. Shout out to you guys. Alrighty, let's move down the line and check out one of my favorite shelves here. So we'll start from the right side here. We have my largest pearl nautilus. That thing is huge. I've had that for a very long time. I'd say I'd, I've had that for about a year and a half to two years. It is huge. Like, look at this. Com Here, I'll bring it out for you guys. Just got to be super careful. Look at this. Look at the size of that. That's 240 millimeters long. Gem condition, obviously. Very, very, very hard to get that size. Biggest one I've ever seen. Hopefully, one day I'll find a bigger one. But then next to it, we have a freak tiger cowry. Very cool. Giant... Uh, giant red sea urchin deep sea urchin i actually traded this for a tiger carry that i found myself once i traded up and up and up and up until i got to that we have a zoila friend eye friend eye one of my favorite shells ever it took me a very long time to be able to purchase this these are quite expensive uh if you're talking money wise this is worth about 200 australian dollars right now but i would never sell it because it's one of my favorite shells ever We've got a Glory of the Seas uh, cone shell right there. <coughs> got a Spondylus uh, Regius, maybe. That was also a gift to me from my Texan friends. Thank you very much. There's a giant Tiger Cowrie. That's my latest purchase, actually. I purchased that from our latest Yapoon trip. I think it's awesome. I love the pectins. And no, I don't think it is a Murex pectin. This over here is a Murex pectin. But it is incredible awesome condition that's why i purchased it because it was basically gem condition we've got a, another zoila there giant one we got a textile sort of cone super rare deep sea urchin again a admiral cone i believe it's called i wish to find one of those we got a kiyoki mirror all right it's fine it's fine it's fine that really hurt my soul uh these ones are very rare my goodness uh thank goodness it is okay but these ones are quite rare uh as you can see it is a small small shell so that is worth about a hundred dollars just for that little shell there and i just dropped it that that hurt my soul anyway uh this one here is a pluro west Rayleigh's uh slit shell very very rare deep water shell these ones are extremely hard to get, especially this size and with the operculum and data. So that one is huge. One of my favorite shells. I love the rarer shells. Got a couple of Murex here, a red Nicobar Triton. I don't think it is called a Nicobar Triton, but if you guys are regulars to the channel, you know that I call them that all the time. Alrighty, we have my giant queen conch that Imogen got me for my birthday last year one of my favorite shells ever definitely probably in the top five definitely 
It's really cool. Let's keep moving down the line. Righty, we are on the other side of the uh, famous shelf here. We have a giant tiger nautilus that I purchased off Facebook for $70, I believe. Now that is an extremely good price. Very lucky to get that one. Here, I'll pull it out for you as well. It's only about 15, oh, probably 30 millimeters, so three centimeters smaller than my pearl but it is in incredible condition. Hopefully I can find one one day while we're traveling. Incredible, I love the Nautilus. Then we have the sub-adult uh, queen conch and the uh, juvenile queen conch here. <coughs> As you can tell, I love queen conches. Then we have a giant Simatium roderi. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty positive that is correct. So, that one is awesome. That was also gifted to me. I had no idea they got that size. That thing is huge. Got a black cone shell there. I'm not sure on its name. If you do know, please comment down below. I love that one. Got a really awesome colored uh, baler shell or mellow amphora, I believe it's called. Really nice colors and pattern. Now here is one of my favorite shells ever, my Murex pectin. Very cool. I love that one. I've had that for many, many years. Got another nice Murex there, another one of those urchins. The Oliva Porphyria, Porphyra. One of my favorite shells in this whole case as well. This was also uh, very generously gifted to me. So shout out to you guys, thank you very much. I look at this thing every day, I hold this thing every single day. I love it so much. It's so incredible. One of my favorite shells, definitely. Probably in the top three, honestly. We got a Genonia here, the famous Genonia. Would you look at that? Let me get a nice, nice photo for you guys. Incredible. I have a lot of uh, people from Florida watching my videos. So this is like the holy grail for you guys to find. Best of luck to all of you guys. Konos Milneeds Wadzi right there. Pretty cool specimen. A Belangensis. Uh, cone shell, Konos Belang gensis or something like that very cool i love all the textile cone shell patterns that's why i've got those three um the glory of the seas there and that sort of thing we got a giant uh atlantic deer carry here that was also gifted to me we got a little zoila decipens i believe now here's one of the rarer shells of the cabinet a Zoila Marginata. This took me a long time to purchase. These shells are really, really expensive. Like, this is probably worth like $220 to $250 if you see them in uh, dollar value. But I will never sell it, obviously. That's why I haven't. We've got a bunch of uh, random little carry shells here. I collected these because, oh, I kept these because that is a giant zigzag carry and that is a giant Crabaria. And I actually have two of these, and this one is my biggest. They are extremely cool. I love those. So that is that shelf there. Definitely awesome. Alrighty, let's move down to the top find shelf. You guys are going to love this one. So we're going to start off on the right side here today. Let's start off at the front. We have. Uh, majority of my Wentel Trap shell finds there. So let me just make it clear. All these shells on this shelf here are my best shell finds ever. And I found every single one myself. Empty, of course. Got some cool big coral pieces. Little urchin there. Bunch of gem condition shells. Carrier shells. Urchins. Dolida carries. Nicobar tritons. Sundials. Helmets. Textiles. Nicobar again. Uh, another textile giant uh, Valium Arola bonnet shell, biggest one I ever found by far. Giant, uh, what is it? Hairy Triton, that's not so hairy anymore. Sea bushes from Yapoon. Giant scallop from Harvey Bay. Big baler from Harvey Bay. Avila ovum. Mirax pectins. Uh, Hebrew cones, more carry shells, bunch of good stuff. 
the latest addition to the collection. I found this on Keppel, Great Keppel Island a couple of days ago in Yapoon. Giant sand dollar from a recent, well not a recent, it was like two and a half years ago. A giant sand dollar from one of the storms here. Giant urchin. Giant urchin number two. Let's go down to this side. This side uh, consists of a lot of grape carries and a lot of other good stuff. So we have a really cool conditioned strombus right there. Awesome colored moon snail. A bunch of curica carries. Ton of grape carries, of course. And my top three shell finds ever. My three, or oh, well, four, are uh, Limousina carries. I absolutely love Limousinas. And those three right there are gem condition. Found all of them myself, of course. They are incredibly cool. Got a nice little pectin shell there that's still intact. Big old Murex shell. As I said earlier, giant sea urchins that I've found. I don't usually have too much luck with urchins. These are actually the only ones I've found. One, two, three, four. And then there may be some smaller ones around the front there, maybe like two or three. But yeah, I absolutely love the urchin shells. Giant Captain Cone. Nice uh, pectin shell. A couple of juvenile shells there, or sub-adult shells. What do we got here? A geography Cone. A... Oh, what is it? I can't think of what that one is. Uh... Guys, comment down below. I cannot think at all what that's called. This one here. Comment down below what it's called. All right, we got a giant red sea bush. Very cool. Another sea bush from uh, Yapoon with a little bit of coral attached to it. So that's awesome. Giant turbo shell, more urchins, carrier shell, big carrier shell. A couple of scallop shells from Keppel Island and a couple of uh, wentle traps there. So that's everything. Look at this sand or, or uh, sea biscuit we found in Yapoon as well. Imogen found that one. Very cool. Tiny Hebrew cone in gem condition. Thing is tiny. Bunch of carrier shells there. A lot of them actually. Some shuttles, giant bean, tiny spindle. Alrighty, let's move down to this section. Alrighty, so we are now at this level here. We have a bunch of stuff. It's actually starting to pile up. All right, let's start at this side here. We have a bunch of stuff. We have a lot of uh, magnificent volute shells here, bunch of balers, Nautilus core, Big old hairy triton. Some cool patterned bonnet shells like that one there. Some really bright bonnet shells. More different patterned ones over there. Tiny hairy triton. That's just my bag of uh, shell labels for all the gifts that I received and some of the shells with labels that I've purchased. Got a big old spindle there. Some coral. Bonnets, clams, tons, more uh, magnificent baler or volutes, some shells from Keppel Island, of course, more bonnet shells, Arabian cowries, bonnet shells, Avula ovum, triton shells, so much stuff. That giant topper I didn't find. My dad found it on an island around a couple of years ago. Alrighty, let's move down to the lower level where there's a lot more st smaller stuff, but we have a lot of selection here. Let's start right in the middle. We've got some tritons, uh, balers, bonnets, strombus, cowries, cool colored moon snail, a triton trumpet piece, the only piece I've ever found. One day I'll find one for sure. Giant uh, cherry cowry, little ovula right there. Helmet shell, love the helmet shells. 
my first ever bottle topper or stopper. Mother of Vula spondylus piece. Big old bonnet shell. A whole lot of good stuff. Helmet shells again. I love finding helmet shells. Broken little carrier shell next to the Nicobar Triton. Helmet shells again. Abnormal Arabian Cowrie. Captain Cones. Abalone. Remember, all of these shells that I'm showing you now on this bottom shelf, this shelf here, and this shelf here were all found by me in basically the same beach, apart from like 10 or 15 from like Harvey Bay and Yapoon and such. But all these here were found at the same beach by me, empty, here in Queensland, Australia. I've got a Murex there, one of my only Murex, one of, one of my only different types of Murex. Couple of rose or lace murex there, helmet shells, tulip shells, volutes, captain cones, bunch of stuff back there. Bunch of cool stuff. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. I really hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, if you want to check out what my collection used to look like when I had a whole entire room full of seashells, the link will be in the description below if you want to check that out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.